In this video, we're going to be looking at how to recognize like and unlike terms. So, what do we mean by the word term? Well, a term is a part of an expression that is separated by an addition or subtraction sign. For example, 3x, x to the third, and negative 3 are all examples of different types of terms. And when you have two or more of these terms with the same variables and the same exponents, then they're considered to be like terms. So x and 3x are like terms. So are x squared and 5x squared. You will notice that in both cases, the variable and the exponent are the same. I could even have something like xy and yx, because multiplication is commutative. So it doesn't matter what order you multiply the numbers in. But 2x and x squared are not like terms. And when we look at our algebra pieces, we can see that. 2x means that we have some unknown value x two times, while x squared is that number times itself. And clearly, x cubed is also not a like term, since that would be x times x times x. Sometimes students will get a little confused when the terms have the same variables and the same exponents, but the exponent is not associated with the corresponding variable, such as when we are comparing x squared y to y squared x. But we can see these aren't the same. x squared y is x times x times y and y squared x is y times y times x. Okay, so why is this important? Well, often in algebra, you'll be asked to simplify a problem by combining like terms. This is not that different from simplifying a fraction. It allows us to know that we're all talking about the same thing and makes the problem easier to work with. So let's say I had the problem 3y squared plus 4y plus y squared plus negative 5y. So what are the like terms? Well, 3y squared and y squared are like terms since the variable y is raised to the second power. And when we combine those, we get 4y squared. Also, 4y and negative 5y are like terms. And when we combine those, we get negative 1y, or what we'd really say is just negative y. 